What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking in from a brand new location today, Grapevine, Texas. And that means we are here at Sea Life Aquarium and it is very cold as in like 45 degrees. Lauren is freezing right now. But uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. So let's head inside and check out what Sea Life has to offer. So unlike the other Sea Life location in Orlando that we've been to, this one is in a mall. And we have the entrance right here, a big old Sea Life sign. Here are the hours of operation. We have Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Sunday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, so just in case if you're wondering about the pricing, we have adults are $20.95, children 3 to 12 are $16.95. You can also combine it with a Legoland Discovery Center ticket for just a little bit more. And just like the other Sea Lifes, we do have a little photo area here with a green screen. They'll take your photo and uh, you can be kind of blended in to a neat little photo. Throughout the area, we do have information that you can see right here on the sign. Every year we talk to 16 million people about marine conservation. One of the first exhibits that we see are all these fish swimming around in a circle. And this is similar to Orlando's location, as you get a 360 degree view of all the little guys doing their thing. And then check it out, we have projectors over here, making it look like we're underwater. And we can get a nice up close view of all the little fishies getting some food. Thin facts, as crabs and lobsters grow, they shed or molt. We knew that. Harbor area. You can see some of the different fish and sea life that would be accompanied with it. See? When crabs and lobsters grow bigger, what happens to their shells? Their shells keep growing and growing! They have neat little areas over here where if you have a booklet, see Dive Station 1, you can lift it up and it stamps your booklet. Look, all right. Yeah, the horseshoe crabs. Yeah. Very neat. larger fish. These guys are pretty big actually. You can see uh, looks like rays as well. There's a ray. There's a, a shark in there I see. And a whole bunch of uh, tropical fish. I do like the little TV screen right here so you can see what's in the tank. It gives information about their habitat, food, how big they get, lifespan, things the like. Overall I'm liking this though. Theming is pretty nice. It makes me feel like we're under a dock right now. And we walk into our next place. Mangrove Swamp. Again, theming in here is pretty good. Tons of information. I see eels. More rays. And all the foliage over here. Make it look like mangroves. Shark eggs. You can learn about shark eggs here, as you can see. And then here they are. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are real shark eggs. All right, now on to the next area, and I can see rays. And it says there are almost 500 different species of rays. Looks really nice. Some of these rays are pretty big. I mean, look at that guy. See, look at him. Again, you can get up close and personal right here. They do have facts along the wall. Again, more types of rays right here. The manta ray. We know about manta rays. 
largest ray in the world is a manta ray, 25 feet across. And more screens over here with information. And the walls are lined with it as well. See electric rays? Shock can be up to 220 volts. So yeah, that's kind of neat. Check this out. There's stairs leading up. Let's go get an aerial view of it. So this is definitely different. We don't have this in Orlando, but they have a, kind of a neat little viewing area where you can literally walk right on the glass and right above the rays. That's pretty cool, actually. What do you think so far? It's different, it's really isn't it? Cool, yeah. It's like totally different from Orlando. It's like uh, the see through area underneath you and then this little, like, you know, little overhang. That's really cool. I think it's neat. Again, yeah. they're really big on interaction here, and the fact that you can kind of just stand right over them, that's neat. Dive station number two, glide with array. Again, stamping area right there, across from the rays. Like he's saying hello. Bloop bloop. See, look, he's like, come on, where's the food? I know you got it. And these rays know. See, they're like hovering around us. They're like, where's the food, bro? Neat little informational sign. So, if your child has a specific sea life animal that they like, like an octopus, well, it tells you exactly where they are. See, dinosaur dive. Turtles are going to be at the ocean tank. Sea stars at the rock pools and the likes. See Turtle Rescue Center, and we see Rescue Beach with little turtles! And he's swimming over here. You he place the turtle over here. See? It says, let's get started. You can choose your turtle. It's going to be a girl turtle. It's a girl! And you can uh, name it. Roxy. Well, that's Roxanne. Wrong one. <laughs> but see, you can weigh the turtle. Man, that's a heavy turtle. 51 pounds. Turtle tip. It says that they can read an average weight of 121 pounds. Nice. Gives a little bit more information on it. Roxy is underweight. No, that's not good. So we can click on the next thing. It says, please weigh. Well done. You can do x-rays and other things like that, which is going to be on the other station down okay, this way. So you take your turn away. <laughs> this is cool. And the turtle's going to come over here to the next station, right? And this is going to be the x-ray station. Okay, so you choose, what's wrong with the turtle? What are we going to choose? The missing flipper and Justin Hook? Well, I don't know. Broken flipper. Let's, let's put the turtle down and see what okay. we got. How about a missing flipper? Uh, so yeah, you place no the turtle, flipper, no yeah, flipper. missing flipper, no all right, flippers. but the turtle has to go in here. So it says place turtle oh, inside okay. here. My bad, my bad. So a turtle goes in there. Okay, okay. And then now we get this, sea turtle x-ray station. Okay. Zero. There's our x-ray. All right. So you can do a remedy, bandage, things like that. Select, Select an injury and how we can help Roxy. So uh, let's do a, a wrap. Click on wrap. Oh, sorry. A bandage? Or bandage. Oh, oh sorry. Wrap. Well, actually, yep, there oh, we go. So okay, there. Sorry. Cracked her shell. Okay. Drag the ray treatment to the injury. Okay. So if we cracked her shell, I'm thinking maybe what? A wrap. A bandage? Bandage? Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So we got the check okay. mark there. And then this one right here, we find out this is a hurt flipper. So I'm probably thinking it's going to be a wrap. Right? Oh, okay. We we choose the red red marker first. Okay. Okay. So we got that. So click on that. Okay. Click on the red marker. And then. So red marker there, right? Yep. And then you move the wrap over. There we go. There we go. 
All right, so great job. We got uh, Roxy fixed up. Now we're going to feeding and hydration. So go ahead and grab Roxy from the x-ray machine. There we go. Our little turtle. And now we move on to the next one. And then here is our next station, feeding and hydration. You can put the turtle right up on the top. Place your turtle's head in the tube. So go ahead, yep. Yep. <laughs> Just like that, okay. It's feeding time. Yeah. Then click next. And then drag to feed Roxy her favorite foods. foods. So there's seagrass, uh, jellyfish, shrimp, crabs, seaweed, and squid. Okay. I'm thinking crabs may be one of them. Uh, what do you think? Shrimp? Yep, sounds good. Okay. Maybe some seagrass here and there? I don't think she likes some Okay, crabs. so crabs she doesn't like. Nope. That was the X, but the shrimp was a yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's try the seagrass. Yep, she likes some seagrass. That's a yes. It's getting bigger. Yep, getting bigger. How about some jellyfish? I don't know about that one. And yeah, didn't think so, but seaweed, because that's like seagrass. Alright, where were that? Oh, no, no, wow. Failure. So squid? squid? Ah, alright. Yeah. So Roxy likes seagrass, shrimp. Uh, seagrass. Yeah. So yeah, kind of neat. Great job. Click next. How thirsty is Roxy? Okay. So Roxy is dehydrated. It's like Roxy. Yep. Okay. So 16 ounces of water it says. Pump the handle three times. So I assume this is this handle. Got a okay. two, three. Ah, uh, you can see it's filling up right there. There you go. See? There we go. Fantastic. So Roxy is now fed and watered. Release and tracking. Alright, so we are on to our next step. Check out the turtle. That's awesome. It's right here too. That one looks like he was a little injured. He was missing a little leg on that one, but again, the turtles are being cared for. Like, that's a turtle. All right, so uh, on to the next one, which again is going to be release, I believe. We have the Sea Turtle Hospital over here. Awesome. The guy's swimming in there right now. You can do your conservation help right there. As always, Putting you can a, donate uh, to the Sea Life Trust. Yeah, Sea Life Trust. Which goes to the rehabilitation, which includes the sea turtle rescue. Very neat. So then we have over here another station together. We've saved 430 sea turtles. And then that's uh, kind of the deposit thing where you can put the turtle back there. So it says, release your turtle here. Bye. Goodbye, turtle. Bye. 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 That was kind of neat, actually. <laughs> so another right after the turtles. We have one of those aquariums where you can go down underneath and literally have your head sitting in the middle of an aquarium. Maybe if we had the chance, Lauren might uh, be a volunteer for that. Lauren, oh, are you willing to volunteer? I like, um, super tall. <laughs> I know. Okay. There you go. Lauren is now inside a tank. <laughs> Oh, Learning about uh, puffer fish over here. Should be a puffer in there. Again, theming is really, really nice in this area. Makes me feel like we're underwater in a sunken ship. You can see uh, lionfish in here. That is a huge lionfish. Go 
in over here. More coral, fish, and theming. Dive station number three. Marvel at the coral. So you can look through there, see the different coral. And then again, stamp your booklet right over here and move on. Look at the size of that eel. I've never seen an eel that big in my life. Like straight up, I have never seen an eel that big. At first I thought it was a decoration. I didn't even think it was real. Look at that thing. Another section over here, more turtles. Dive station number four, dive with the turtle. And again, stamp your booklet there, and then move on. I'm seeing more sharks in here, and that is a pretty big uh, fish slash shark, whatever you want to call it. Walk over here. Again, more projections on the ground here. Looks nice. And here is one of the neat features about Sea Life. They have the 360 degree walk through aquarium tunnel. I love these. Again, you can look straight down and right overhead. And that guy is literally over us right now. That is so cool. This is awesome. I literally feel like I'm standing in the middle of the ocean. I think that's a puffer fish. In fact, I'm pretty sure on it. That is by far the biggest fish when it comes to puffers I've ever seen. More viewing areas. Well, the sea life can go directly above you. This is a pretty large tank too. It's going to have to be with some of the size of the fish in there. Sharks. Sharks have been around 400 million years. Some of the coral with more fish. And I believe we're about in the dinosaur area because this guy I don't think exists anymore. Check that out. More dinosaur facts over here, the different periods as you can see. Walk into our next section. Dive station number five. Sharks like me are hunted for our fins. They have a little stamp station there again. More eels. In the pot. In the pot. We'll walk over here to the jellyfish. That's kind of neat. Over 2,000 different types of jellies, but only seven are harmful to humans. Interesting. Here are the jellies. I do like how the color changes in here, so you can see the jellies lit up differently. Just kind of neat. 
What's this? There's a walkway up this way. And the elevator over there. I think we'll take the stairs. Let's take the stairs. All right, so now we are on the second level. Again, different from what we're used to. We're always normally on just one floor, but we have a second floor here. There's a puffer. See, that's the size I'm normally used to, not like the other one that was ginormous. Again, more facts all up on the wall here. Shark mission. What? Your blue tangs. Yeah, blue tangs. Clownfish. Hmm. No. No. Clownfish and tanks. Shark mission here. You can select a language. It looks like it's motion tracking too, actually. So. See. Using my gadgets, we can see any shark swimming nearby. Go ahead and uh, click. I'm disappointed that I don't have a Mako. I'm disappointed that I don't have a Mako. It's all right. So here's the hammerhead. You can spin him around. You can find out what makes him tick. This isn't DJ Shark. <laughs> but click on this. So the vision. It's kind of neat. So it actually uh, gives you information after you click on different things as well. We can learn about the different sharks. Seahorses. So it looks like that's the next area that we're going into over here is going to have seahorses. Looks like some ruins as well. There's a seahorse. See? It's a little seahorse. Some seahorse couples are paired for life. Seahorse breeding. You got a little baby seahorse. It's a little itty bitty seahorse. And right over here by the shark area, there is another little cutout room, as you can see here. Super senses. Sharks can smell blood in the water up to almost 1,300 feet away. Pretty far away. And this area is kind of neat. So that big tank that we walked through earlier, well now you're standing right over it. So they have different viewing areas here as you can see. Megalodon, aka biggest shark, gives you a reference as to just how big it was. You can see a bus there and the Megalodon. Again, very neat tank, and now you can stand directly above it. Hmm, flashlight fish, aka ones that you can only see apparently with the flashlight. Check it out. So I'm not sure if you're able to see it because of the video, but there's little sparkly lights. All right, well, those are fishies. Moving on to our next area here. More fishies. This makes almost feel like a uh, rainforest. It is the rainforest. It is the rainforest. As you can see, a tropical rainforest. What a quinky dink. The ground is uh, squishy as well. It makes it feel like we're standing on the rainforest floor. We do have uh, mist coming in. Add some humidity in here. And then these are some of the fish and species that you would find in the rainforest. You see, the water's dripping down, just like it would be there. It's kind of neat, actually. Dive station number seven. Stop the heat. Rotate to see which ways of getting around are the most fish friendly. So you can spin it around, figure it out. Okay. And it shows on there. Okay, not okay. Different oh, things like that. Yeah, so there's a train and it's giving different modes of transportation. And there is the stamp station there. 
another look at some of the different areas here for rainforest. More walkthrough exhibits and areas where you can kind of go underneath and into the center of the aquarium. I won't make Lauren do that this time. Go check it out. I love that you can just walk right in the middle of these aquariums. Piranhas! Razor sharp teeth. Can I see piranhas in here? I don't think I want to mess with them. So the next area that we have here is the rock pool school and Lauren can actually touch some of the different items in here like starfish. Yay. Okay, hold on. Boop. 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 Yep, you can touch them. They have different areas over here with corals as well. More tanks, a kids climbing section as well. See? Rock pools. Kind of neat. And also we have some shark eggs. So those are from Port Jackson sharks, which we used to have at the aquarium. And they laid this weird corkscrew shaped egg. And then these are from our epaulette sharks, and these are the ones we have in that little tank down there. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is what they look like when they're like not in the sharks. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. The next area that we're going into is called Conservation Cove. We can learn about the different ways that we can help protect marine life. Whether it's removing netting, fishing lines, things like that. We can learn about how to protect the oceans. Things that you don't want to find in the ocean. Plastic, things like that, straws. Sustainable fishing, so they talk about the best ways to do fishing so it doesn't affect other sea life. Plastic pollution as well. Really harmful to the birds and fish, especially sea turtles. Neat little overhang over here. Then we have Conservation Zone and Theater. So there's a little theater over here where you can sit down, and learn about more conservation. Well, just like all the famous attractions in Orlando, they got to end with a gift shop. Well, here in Grapevine, Texas, Sea Life Aquarium does as well. Let's go check out the gift shop. Now, before we get to the gift shop, there is an area over here that we highly recommend. It's a little survey station. So Lauren is hopefully going to be able to help us out with that. So she clicks English. And it says, to begin survey, please select the number eight below. There's the eight. And how satisfied were you? So you can fill it out. And here's a quick look at the gift shop. Check out this giant ray. 150 bucks. Then we have a bunch of other plush over here. Sharks. Cute little googly eyed sea turtles. More sea turtles over here. Sparkles. They do have magnets right there as well. Coloring books, turtles everywhere. Magnets here, little keychains, four keychains, a hurricane simulator. Just in case you want to know what that's like, we do have Florida for that reason though. Three dollars. We have mermaids in here, other girls and boys toys, construction equipment, cups snow globes, shot glasses, all the likes. You name it, they probably have it. Reusable, bla reusable bags that are not uh, plastic. Get all the mermaids over here. Lobsters, dolphins, jellyfish, penguins. Gotta have the cute plush penguins. Sippy cups, sea life over here. 
smashable pennies for your penny collection. Some bowls over here. Those are pretty nice, actually. Earrings, jewelry, hats and caps as well. Eye patch as well, just in case you want to be a pirate. Our games, other little things that you can find for the desk cups. And that's pretty much going to do it for the gift shop. So check out all these little Lego displays. We have an entire amusement park. Ferris wheel, roller coaster, and a carousel. That is really kind of neat. Well guys, that is going to do it for our video here from Sea Life Aquarium in Grapevine, Texas. Now we've had the opportunity to do the one in Orlando, and now this one. They're very similar properties, but very different. In fact, there's a lot of species here that I've never seen, as in, I've never seen before, period. Let alone the size of them. There was an eel in there, literally as long as my arms are, essentially. Really kind of neat. Theming is uh, really nice. The staff is really awesome as well. It's very clean in there. The gift shop has a ton of items that kids are gonna love, as well as families to take home a nice souvenir. The scale of 110 on this place, though. I'd give it probably a nine and a half, if not a 10. Overall, you can learn a lot of great things. Kids can come here for a field school trip or something like that. Uh, tons of great, exciting things to check out. So I do recommend this place. I know Lauren really enjoyed it as well, and hopefully we're gonna have other videos from other sea lives from around the world. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.